And then I have some PlayStation 1 games here. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, excuse me. I got this for uh, $2.99. And then $2.99 for shipping. That's how wonderful shipping is. And this game I played when I was really, really young. Let's say 14 or so. That's only 10 years ago. But 11 years ago. But um, this was one of my favorite games. This actually was one of the games, this and Resident Evil, that got me into the survival horror genre. Although this one's made by Squaresoft. Can you guess the game? I'll give you five seconds. All right, Parasite Eve. Excellent, excellent game. Uh, it does not come with the manual, but it does have the Collector's Volume 1, 1998 Collector CD Volume 1, which is the Xenogears and Bushido Blade 2 Brave Fencer Musashi demo. And next up, we have Dino Crisis. Now, this also was one of the first survival horror games that I played. I heard Dino Crisis 3 wasn't as good, although I love Dino Crisis 1 and Dino Crisis 2. This also comes with the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis demo. And then Bushido Blade 2. hope I'm pronouncing that right. Bushido Blade. Now this is a very interesting fighting game because there you actually can be killed in one hit. So it's a uh, Squaresoft took a interesting approach here at the fighting game genre. They have done Air Guys, they did Bushido Blade, they did, um, oh gosh, they did another one, and I can't quite remember the name of it right now, but uh, Bushido Blade 1 I have played and it's awesome. You can waste a lot of time <laughs> playing, playing Bushido Blade. It's just a really unique fighting game, so if you're a fan of the fighting game genre, just check it out. It might not be for you, it's a little different doesn't have, you know, huge combos and everything like that, but it is just an excellent fighting game all around. And then I just couldn't wait any longer to buy this game. I thought I could find it for cheaper, but both of these these next two games I bought for $50 a piece, so a total of $100. And it they're complete and everything. And the first one is Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. And this comes with the game, Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. And also in here, uh, I need to get a new case for it. Also in here is yeah, disc one, disc two. They're about to fall out, so I gotta be very careful here. And then you got disc three. Oh, excuse me. The making of Lunar, and then the soundtrack. So it's a four CD game, except there's only two CDs for the game. One is the making of, and the other one is the soundtrack. And then it also comes with this fancy little booklet here, with a uh, cool little page marker, with a, almost like Bibles have. It's really cool. But this is Working Designs put so much effort into their into their games and into the display and the um, the covers and everything. This is just a little art book um, that came with the game. Super, super cool. I couldn't wait any longer to get it. My buddy had both of them, so I had to pick them up. And since I kind of gave that away, the next game is going to be Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. And this is really cool. Let me just open this one up for you. This is what it looks like inside the box here. And if we go ahead and take all this out, okay, empty box. Um, we got, okay, I don't even know how to do this. Oh shoot, there's a map and then how am I going to show you this? There's all these little things in here and what they do is they're little standees so they go something like like that and then you can stand them up set them out decorate whatever you want to do with them um, and then also in that little 
CD case thing here. This is the only thing that came broken, but I can surely fix it, is the pendant, the necklace. The only thing, and it says working designs on the back there. All right. And uh, the only thing that's broken is the that comes out. But that just should fit right on there. A little glue will do the trick. Never heard anything. Then, let me start wrapping this up because I'm probably getting close to my time here. All right. Then it also comes with the, the heck is this? Oh, the soundtrack again. The soundtrack. Again, another little cool art book. Lunar 2, Eternal Blue. Cool little art book there. And then the game. And it is a three disc? Let me think. Yeah, three disc game. Everything's in there. Everything's complete. So that was so cool. I couldn't wait to get my hands on that game. And then last but not least, I just have a few strategy guides that I picked up down at Half Price Books. First one is Dragon Quest VIII. Journey of the Cursed King. Got the strategy guide here. It's in almost new condition. I mean, the corner's a little bit bent right there, but not bad at all. Next up, I'm really surprised I found this one at Half Price Books. Final Fantasy VIII, the official strategy guide. Got all the Guardian forces. It's got all the limited limit weapons. Um, excuse me, limit breaks. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy VIII. Then uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Rings of Fate for the Nintendo DS. At least that's what I think this game's for. Yep, it's for the Nintendo DS. Found that. And that was about six bucks, five bucks, something like that, seven bucks. Then I got Crystal Crown uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And this one's a little bit bent on the corner here, but not bad. I mean, I wouldn't say that's too bad. Still in very nice condition. And a nice addition to my uh, strategy guides. Then last but not least, we have Romancing Saga. Still haven't played this game. You know, a lot of people are hit and miss on the Saga series. There's Saga Frontier 1, Saga Frontier 2, we got Unlimited Saga, which I heard is horrible, but I still own it. Romancing Saga. Uh, there's a couple other Saga games that I can't remember where they fit in. I think they're for the PS1, um, if I recall. But, oh no, excuse me, there's some that are for the Super Nintendo as well. Um, so, but, you know, Squaresoft, Square Enix... They're my favorite game developer, publisher of all time, so I have to buy their games. It's just something. I, I seem to like all of them. I don't know what it is. I like all Square Enix games. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That's just a few pickups for this last week. I'm definitely going to get a video out. I'm working on, Right now I'm working on a Dead Space 2 review, so... Keep your eyes open for that one coming out soon. Next day I have off, I'll be getting some more footage for that. Um, also, really quickly, a quick note, the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, May, beginning of May. So I'll keep you updated on the times and dates and everything, but um, I'm looking for volunteers. Um, we're putting on the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. Well, not me, but a friend of mine is, and he's asked me to help find volunteers so if anybody is near the area, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, whatever, anyone wants to come up for the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo and, vo and volunteer, you're more than um, I'd be more than happy to um, show you around, uh, get you all set up, and, and do anything I can to help you out. Uh, we'd love to have you up here for the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. We'll, I'll keep you updated on the dates and everything. So thank you guys so much again for watching. This has been Mr. Gamer Guru 13 here again with another pickup video, episode number eight. So keep it real and keep gaming and whatever you do, just do it. And I'm out of here.